This year to start the season, USC is being ranked number two while Stanford is number 18. Last year, Stanford was 10 and three while USC was also 10 and three and Stanford beat USC in their sole matchup. And Stanford is returning 16 starters while USC is only returning 12. But this is not a one-time thing where Stanford's been ranked lower than USC start of the year just his first time. It happens every single year. Out of the last five years, in the first three weeks of the season, USC has been in the top ten seven times. Yet once they start playing real opponents, they've only been ranked in all the other weeks combined twice in the top ten in the first five weeks. However, Stanford in the first three weeks has been ranked in top ten six times in all their weeks 18 times. Meaning that routinely, after they start playing real opponents, Stanford shows that they are the better team than USC. And this is this is something that needs to stop as it, a team like USC will always have better chances to make the playoffs just because they're in a bigger market. Uh, it really shows how the college football playoff should, voters should be done by computers, not by real people, because the voters will look for a team that they, they are more familiar with, a team that has a better history like USC, and not the team that is better at the moment, a team like Stanford. Thank you. I'm Rice Snyder, ESPN.